silver plated numbing gum and Jesus resting on my thumb a hard to reach malaria my full name is heaven Renee Jackson I was born October 18th 1994 on a Tuesday I'm 24 and I'm a Libra like first and second and third I was just quiet and then fifth grade I was quiet but then I got really weird because I was obsessed with Jake Gyllenhaal and no one knew who Jake Gyllenhaal was and they knew had no idea about these movies that I was watching and then I started watching like weird movies and uh I don't know then I just realized you know what this is me so I'm gonna be weird and uh sixth grade through like seventh eighth ninth I was like emo and uh dark and depressed I thought that you know my life was just uh, terrible <laughs> and it wasn't but in sixth grade not only was I like depressed like I I started realizing that something was up because I have this imaginary friend who's not imaginary to me but um he was always around like when I was little I didn't you know think much of it but then when I was in sixth grade you know he told me what he was here for and why he was I don't know doing the things he does and so that kind of changed me and then I never told anyone about it and I would have like really weird episodes like terrible nights and I wasn't myself and I just kind of brushed it off and then I got in high school and I was like you know I'm feeling really depressed it was getting worse and I was like I, I think I need to tell my mom like something's going on and um I told her and that was really hard and she was like is this because you watch Donnie Darko <laughs> and I was like no but I like that movie because uh you know I can kind of see myself in some parts of it but uh then she was like okay this is for real real and uh, so we started getting help and switching my medicine all up and that's why I couldn't go to school you know I, I couldn't even stay awake I gained 70 pounds in like a month and I was like there's no way that anyone can see me like this this is terrible so I was homeschooled and it got worse then I got in 12th grade and um it was just kind of getting worse it was getting worse because Timothy that's his name my imaginary friend he was upset that I told my mom about him I shouldn't be telling anybody about him like this was our thing and uh, I told her and it was getting worse like I said and then my dad got sick and um, that was in 12th grade and then he passed away so I was like I can't I can't even go to Reese and just do stuff online because I just I can't focus I can't I can't be okay so that's why I was homeschooled again. And um, it got dark for a while, but now it's kind of leveled out. I'm leaving all who broke your heart upon the shore. Cause I may be some sort of crazy. We may be some sort of crazy. But I swear on everything I have and more. That you make the sound of pulling heaven down And you brought the rain's romantic pour You make that sound You make that sound Of pulling heaven down And I'm reaching farther than I ever have before And leaving all who broke your heart upon the shore and I may be some sort of crazy We may be some sort of crazy But I swear on everything I have and more I'm reaching farther than I ever have before And leaving all who broke your heart upon the shore And I may be some 
sort of crazy We may be some sort of crazy But I swear on everything I have and more I swear on everything I have and more Well, I saw it on RuPaul when I was in high school and I loved it and I was watching it, you know, I've been watching it since then. And my friend, I think I was 22, 21, 22. And he was like, we have drag shows here. And I was like, what? And uh, he was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, I wanna go. And we went and it was Drag Factor. And I was like, ooh, okay, this is cool. It had, um, it had Lydia in it, it had vodka and, um, so that, that's the two I remember, but I was like, ooh, awesome. And I was like, I want to do this. And I was like, I wish I was a guy so I could do it. And then I saw on, like, Instagram and stuff, there was these bio queens. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I could do this. And uh, so I added Amology online. And uh, before I talked to her, I had went to Club Luxar and talked to someone and I was like, hey, I was dressed up. I was like, I want to get into drag. Like, what do I do? You know, I'm interested. And they're like, well, what's your gig? And I was like, um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, creepy, I guess. Like, if you had to talk about what queen would be, maybe like sharing needles type stuff. I don't know. And they're like, well, you know, the whole thing is to look like a woman. And I'm like, well, I mean, not the whole thing. But I was like, okay, whatever. So I was like, just never mind. And then I saw Amology say, anyone who wants to perform, uh, message me. And I was like, ooh. I was like, I want to perform. I'm a woman. I don't know if I can do this. And she was like, yes, okay. And that's how I got into it. Hey, this is the Emology show director at Club Luxor. Um, when Vanna first asked me if she could perform, I thought she was talking about a drag king, usually a, a girl, a gay girl, who dresses as a guy and performs as a guy. But she was a straight female who just wanted to dress in drag and perform as a drag queen. Uh, drag queen. So that's what really... Um, interests me that's what made it really unique that's what made me want to put her in the show because i'm always looking for different unique um, performances to get people's attention so that's really why i wanted to uh, put her out there because it was something different and i'm always looking to expand the culture here in lubbock so that was her first opportunity uh when she got off the stage um i was really really I was like, yes, that's really cool because she she was like all drag, lashes, costume, nails. I, I mean, she looked better than half of the drag queens that I had there. <laughs> she performed really good. Everybody was just kind of like, what is going on? So it to me, I love it. I love that kind of I love the shock and I love the like, you know, it gets people interested. So people start asking questions. They want to go see what's going on in meeting. And that's how you start, um, I guess, building a person's name, getting the the uh, bio queen uh, drag kind of out there. So I thought it was really cool. She did really, really good. She's awesome. Um, and for Vanna right now, there's nobody in Lubbock who can do what Vanna does. She goes out there and she takes a completely uh, a song that that everybody loves and enjoys, and she'll put her different twist on it. She'll um, she'll make it very creepy, but at the same time, uh, very entertaining, and she makes you fall in love with it. That's very hard to do to make something crazy, creepy, and weird. But people absolutely go crazy over it. So I'm really excited that we have Anna. Um, she's Lubbock's first bio queen. She took a chance, and I'm glad she did. She's very entertaining. She's, uh, she's out there. She's crazy. And that's what we need. Uh, you know, everything's so nice and glamorous and want to be pretty and this and that. And then Vanna comes out, and she just breaks the mold, and she's... She's awesome. I love Anna, and I'm glad to have her with us, and I wish she would make me look pretty like her. <laughs> I was nervous. 
I was shaken. I was like, oh my gosh, they're not going to like me, for one, because I'm a girl. They're just going to think I'm just this girl going out there and just doing whatever. And then I was like, well, I'm not a dancer. I'm not going to dance. I'm not going to have any splits. I don't know how they're going to take this. I was like, is my skirt too high up? You know, do I look okay? And uh, I went out there and I was nervous, I was shaking. But then after a bit, I kind of got it down and they were loving it and they were tipping me and I was like, oh. And then all the drag queens were telling me, you know, this is so creative, you're uh, different. And Trina told me, my mom like, you know, she has it. And I was like, oh. okay, well, I'm just gonna keep doing this if I can. <laughs> well, with my drag, I try to do a lot of serial killer stuff. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not saying that I would be a serial killer, but we all have those like weird thoughts. And I'm like, that's a good way to express it. These like weird ideas. Cause I also want to make movies, but I don't think that'll ever happen. So I'm like, well, I'll just do it this way and I'll give little pieces of it. And uh, it helps me keep my mind just going and creating things and it helps me with my darkness like you know sometimes I have I used to just have these thoughts just build up and now it's like okay well I can kind of talk on the subject and it not be like oh she's gonna kill me that drag queens can sing boy songs can lip sync boy songs <laughs> that they <laughs> That they don't have to be just, like everyone says, you know, they don't have to be just pageant or dancer or glamorous. You can be whatever you want. Like, you can be a pageant person. You can be a dance queen. You can be a comedy queen. Or you can be, what I want to be is like just gross and serial killer. But with like a little bit of glam. like. What I try to put into my art is different types of ways that I would like to look. Like I have other, I have other drawings and um, it's kind of like that. The purple artwork with the symbols, it means like what is religion to me? Do I believe in it? Do I believe in something? or do I not? I find it beautiful in a way, but yet it's not really my thing. I kind of have this thing for Judaism. Am I that? Because I feel comfortable with it. And then I'm like, maybe I can explore these questions with all these drugs that I've tried. So all the chemical symbols are all the different drugs I had tried. The Green Clown is, um, it's if me and Pennywise, or Pennywise and I fused, if we became one person. Uh, that's why we have four eyes. And it's just my clown persona, Jingles. Like, she's happy, she's slutty, she's <laughs> all over the place, playful, and but yet she has Pennywise with her who is really scary and evil. So on my human centipede piece, the, the body is actually penises and they're three guys and they're all connected with this hair that's a centipede into my mind and I'm feeding it sexual thoughts. So that's why they're penises, because they're very sexual. They're fine being a human centipede. They're, they're down with it. It calms me down. It helps my anxiety. Like, if I wake up and I'm, like, in a bad mood, like, I take anxiety meds, but if I'm in a bad mood, I'm like, oh, God, I just, I just need to smoke. I just need to chill out. I need to take a second and regroup and uh once I smoked like I saw a post on Facebook and said do you see 
that uh, when you smoke, do you just feel the attitude just come out of you? And yes, and it just makes things more fun. I have to block out when I get depressed, I think about how much I don't like myself. And it's mostly just how I look physically. I don't like my body. I don't, I don't think I'm attractive. And to me, that's a huge thing. It shouldn't be, but I just think about how much I wish I could change how I looked. And then I start thinking about that I might just be worthless to the world. Do I really have anything to give? Am I here to, am I gonna change anything? I absolutely do feel like my depression could lead to me harming myself. And I say absolutely because I have been in this situation many times where I have harmed myself, where I have attempted suicide, or I've come close to it. And I get worried about that all the time. And my schizophrenia with my imaginary friend, air quotes, he doesn't make depression easy. He can say some very cunning, manipulative things that can lead me to believe that I could harm myself. And I hate that. In my happiest moments, what I feel about myself is I feel that I have a redeeming personality. I have a good heart. I have a creative, strong mind, intelligent mind. And even if I do feel low about how I look, I'm not confident on how I look, I think, well, at least I have a redeeming personality. At least I'm somebody who's sociable, who's nice and friendly, or can make you laugh. And that's something that makes me happy, even if it doesn't make me fully happy. Hi, this is Red Roulette. Um, a few words I would like to say about Ben Nicole Smith is I think she's iconic. Um, she's fresh and new. She's changing the game here in Lubbock, Texas. And for other queens that follow her on Instagram or all social media platforms, um, they're making she's making a way um, for new visionaries. People were scared to do things that she's doing, and she's out going out there and being 100% authentically herself. And that's one thing I respect about her because she's making me even go out there and do different things that I've wanted to do but I've been scared to. Um, one word to describe Vanna would definitely be fresh. I don't have to fall apart. No, I don't have to be afraid. And I don't have to let the damage consume me or my shadow slip through me. Cause fear in itself can reel you in and spit you out over again. Believe in yourself.